Hi, today I'm going to show you LM386 as sound amplifier. So it's very simple, cheap, uh, straightforward amplifier with just a few components surrounded by this IC and you will get a very nice decent amplifier. So LM386 is very small chip here. It's like exactly as the size of L35 uh, timer, okay? Uh, and with just few capacitors around, uh, it can work in 5 volt up to 12 volt and some versions up to 18 volt. So it's uh, it can be as portable as well for some applications like uh, recorders, like uh, MP3 players. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, the biggest PCB manufacturer from China, who manufactures 10 PCB with a dimension of 10 by 10 centimeter for just $2. Their boards of a good quality and the process time is just within 24 hours. And best of all, their PCBs are cheaper than from most other PCB companies. I use their services all the time for all kinds of PCBs. Small, big, multi-layer, flexible, throw-hole and SMD PCBs with different solder mask colors and shapes. And today I'm just going to look at its performance and the sound quality uh, and I just hooked up all the components as in the data sheet and it is as in the schematic so I have a voltage source here of 5 volt okay and it's going to pin number 6 pin number 4 is the ground we have two inputs here pin number 2 is the inverting input it's, it's grounded pin number 3 is the non-inverting input is going to uh, potentiometer with 10 kilo ohm so this potentiometer you can control the sound uh, volume and also you can control um, maybe noise cancellation if it's saturated okay and here is the fee input and you can straightforward just uh, feed in your signal to this pin here okay without going through this circuit here this circuit is just required if you have a naked uh, microphone like this one so this one is a naked microphone okay and maybe you need like a pull up resistor for it which is the 10 kilovolt here or 10 kilo ohm and 100 nanofarad just to cancel any DC input going to this VN okay so this circuit is needed when you have a microphone okay but if you have any other signals, feed it to this pin so you can straightforward just feed it here, okay? And number one and eight, you need this capacitor if you need more gain. So without this capacitor, you will get by default gain of 20. By installing this capacitor, you have 200 gain, okay? So you, you have 200 amplification. Number five is the output and straightforward just connect it to uh, a big capacitor like 470 microfarad or 1000 if you have 1000 and going to the speaker and it can actually uh, feed speakers from 4 ohm up to 32 ohm without any problems okay so this is very simple here but why we need this this one is just to cancel and damp the oscillation that might happen if we have um, oscillation or if we have under damped uh, uh, system okay and that might happen it depends on actually the noise it depends on the power supply sometimes it feeds some 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 noise that can be amplified somewhere okay or from the input itself so uh, we can use this kind of combination with R and C series uh, circuit just to damp the oscillation and we might just test it now if we, we can work without it and with it and see how it performs very important component that I found it's very useful and um, uh, actually cancel a very loud noise which is this capacitor across the rail of the uh, power supply so we have I installed 33 microfarad but you can install 10 microfarad or more okay 47 microfarad so this one actually helped me to cancel some noise appeared in my circuit maybe 
it doesn't appear when you implement it but uh, in case you hear some loud noise without any reason or some oscillation sometimes this might be the solution okay so let's now see all the components so i have this speaker here and that speaker is um, a 4 ohm 5 watt okay and i hooked up the speaker to the output and here's the ground just to return it okay and everything as in the schematic shown and here's the variable uh, resistor and i'm actually getting the signal first time from my phone okay so i hooked up the output from my phone here the speaker to the input using this socket okay and you can actually i didn't remove the capacitor and the 10 kilo ohm but we'll remove it later if you if i want just to test but it, it works similarly as they are not here okay so if i feed this input here to this point directly or this point instead of the microphone it works the same as fine okay so let's now turn on the power supply it's five volt power supply okay and you have i don't know if you can hear some a little bit of noise small noise but it's barely can be can be heard okay so let's now run anything it's just here okay and i will run anything now okay let's go yeah it started so it's very clear the quality sound is really good okay the noise is not is not there at all now i will try to uh, remove the capacitor over here okay and see ah look at this very noisy sound okay it disappeared now but still little bit okay so when i just reinstall it again disappear again okay so this is has been tested okay look at this one now this combination here if i remove that one okay look at this very noise and this if you just test on the oscilloscope you will find it as oscillation permanent oscillation maybe within more than 200 kilohertz okay and you can damn this oscillation by just reinstalling this resistor with this capacitor so this is just to show you what's the importance of this one and this one as well okay for this one the 10 microfarad i will remove it just i will i need to replay the uh, sound again look at this sound now without this one the gain will be 20 instead of 200 so let's test it look at this this is the gain of 20 and this is the gain of 200 now okay so we tested some components and how uh, they affect the performance of this amplifier so now let's test uh, the this microphone okay so i remove that one and remember we have negative and positive to this microphone so the negative is that side which has just like more root to the body it's connected to the body of the microphone let's connect it and now hello hello i think very clear no no noise you can actually control the things here you can use this potentiometer just to um, avoid the saturation regions ah, look at this one noisy go down a little bit okay now everything disappeared but you don't hear your sound if you reduce it too much okay so return it to the moderate range and i think this one is very good okay so thanks again for jlc pcb which is the best uh, pcb prototyping and manufacturer 
it can manufacture uh, up to six layer uh, PCBs with high quality and very cheap prices you can order five uh, PCBs within just two dollar so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you will find their link in the description below uh, this video and if you like this video so give me a thumb up and see you next time thank you